Welcome back to Physics in 5 Minutes, where I explain things that people can't explain in just 5 minutes. And today we're going to be talking about magnets and how these things work. And why is it that, you know, they attract and they repel each other. Why is that? It's very mysterious. Okay, so the first little secret I'm going to tell you is that permanent magnets work a lot like electromagnets. And electromagnets, you wrap a wire around a nail, you attach a battery to it, that creates the magnetic field. Now, what I'm saying is that inside of these permanent magnets, there are in fact equivalents of loops of wire. In fact, every single thing they call a magnetic grain is actually like a little loop of wire. And here's the secret is that it's actually a superconducting wire. So we've been seeking room temperature superconductors for a long time, but I'm telling you that the magnet itself already contains a superconducting current loop in it. So essentially, your permanent magnet is works exactly the same way as your electromagnet. It's just a loop of wire which has electrons flowing through it. Okay, so that's, that's only one part because that doesn't explain, well, then how does the electromagnetic electromagnet work? Okay, to explain that, I have this diagram here. Now what happens when you create a magnetic field is that you are changing the space around the magnet. And uh, the, the secret is, is that space, and you may not have heard this before, space is consisting of opposite charges, like positive and negative, just all over the place. Even in the vacuum of space, we have these, uh, uh, you know, they call it like the quantum field. And uh, what happens in the case of a magnetic field being present is that these charges become all aligned. So in this case, we have like all the positives on this side, we have all the negatives on this side. Now, if there's no magnetic field present, then these things are, can be pointing in any which way. But when the magnetic field is present, you know, we get this very specific pointing. And what would happen if an electron tries to move through this field of aligned, uh, what are called dipoles? What happens is that since we know that opposites attract, you know, this, the electron as it heads up, as it goes past the positive charge will be deflected towards the positive charge. And then if it goes past another positive charge, it will be even further deflected, right? So the, instead of going straight, the electron curves. Now what happens if that electron, which is curving, you know, hits, hits a hard border like the end of my board here? What it's gonna do, it's actually going to push. It's gonna push against that border and actually result in a tangible force. And uh, this is what is basically happening with the magnet. I said that we have the electrons, they're moving, but as they're moving, they're moving through this, this uh, space which has been aligned. And that's causing electrons to try to go, say, that way, right? So all the electrons are trying to, it's like you had a bunch of bees in this box here, and they all decided to fly that way until they hit the end. And that, cause, that drags the rest of the magnet with it. And so this is actually why we see what we're feeling is that we're, what we're feeling in the magnet is the electrons all being deflected in one direction. They're hitting basically the material of the magnet and they are then pushing the entire magnet towards the other field of the magnet that it's attracted to. So uh, that's it. That's what you're feeling. You're feeling the electrons being deflected in the direction of the attracting magnet. Or in the case of the repelling magnets, they do the opposite, that they want to go and they are being deflected in the opposite directions. And so this is what you feel as a repelling force. So you just imagine all these little electrons just trying to either get together or fly apart. And that is simply it. So that explains how the magnets work in the magnetic field. So I hope you enjoyed that explanation and please make sure to like comment in the below if you agree or disagree if uh, i get enough comments i will do another video replying to those comments so until then ta ta